house and I was like, bam, bam, bam. And they're like, don't shoot me. And I was like, I'm going to shoot you anyway. I'm pulling out my sniper rifle. And I was like, bam, right in your head. And you're like, oh, it was just awesome. Yeah, you'd think it'd get boring after the 43rd time, but it just keeps getting better. You know I could beat you any real game, right? Real game? What could be more real than Halo? You mean like Call of Duty or something? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Actually, I was thinking of something a little more civilized. Gentlemanly, if you will. Gentlemanly? Yes, like golf or... Oh, I know exactly what you mean. All right, here we go. Yeah! Tell me you saw that shot. Ten points. I'm really improving my form. This is so realistic. It's like playing the real thing. That's a miss. Yay, another 100. How is this realistic again? Dude, the golfing in Wii Sports Resort is just like the golfing in real Wii Sports. It's amazing how realistic this is. This is not what I meant by gentleman's game. How about some chess? I bet I beat you at that game, too. Check and mate. Dude, you really suck at this game. You do realize you just moved your queen nine spaces and over one of my pieces. You spent like three hours explaining to me that the queen can move wherever she wants. And besides, haven't you played Zelda? Queens can teleport. Yeah. There's just one little problem, Alex. You can't move your piece off the board. Fine. I'll have my king, ride my knight, and bam, checkmate. You can't do that, either. Can't do that. It's a horse ball. People ride horses. Obviously, you just don't appreciate complex strategy, but fine, since I've been beating you all day, I'll let you pick the next game. How about billiards? That's so simple, even you couldn't screw it up. So why'd we have to dress up like this again? It's not my fault we had to dress up like this. You wanted to play these hoity-toity gentlemen's games. I still don't see why we had to dress up like... Is that a fake mustache? Fake mustache? I don't see a fake mustache. It's the one, right there. On your face. Oh, this mustache? This isn't a fake mustache. I've had this mustache since I was nine. It's my favorite mustache. But you didn't have it before. Did you see me leave and get a new mustache? It's fake. Watch. Wait, what are you doing? Ow! How did you do that without a razor blade? Alex, I really can't believe you sometimes. So, do you want a break or? <laughs> of course I want a break. What do I look like, a dillweed? Then go. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. Wait, wait, read it, read it, read it. Dude! Like there might be something wrong with this cue. You know what? No. No. I'm done with Dude, this. Dude, what? Alex. What are you doing? Bye. Dude, wait. Stop. Just give me one more chance. The problem is we're playing all these stupid games with all the rules that I don't understand. So let me pick the next game. It's really simple. You're gonna love it. What is this game? Secret Viking Wildcard Poker. <sighs> okay. So if I have two multiplier cards, and I get a third one on the flaps, does that mean I can make a spin flush? Dude, it's like you're not even listening. If you have three multipliers and three base cards, then you have a spin flip. Okay. But if instead of a two, suppose we get Colonel Mustard on the flaps. And on the bounce, we get the candlestick. You start with seven because mustard has seven letters in it, and you subtract 11 for candlestick, which leaves you with negative four. But you take the absolute value of that, which is four, but don't forget you can melt down candlesticks for a bonus value of five, which leaves you with nine. <sighs> Do you want to just go play Halo instead? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> yeah.